Well, it's incredibly important to be British as a part of the, the VJTF Brigade uh, that we fall under at the moment. It's a Turkish brigade and we also have many other countries from NATO contributing to the deployment of the VJTF Brigade and bringing all of our experience, our TTPs, um, the way that we uh, conduct our training, it's clearly seen as a positive for the brigade. VJTF is a very high readiness joint task force um, and it demonstrates NATO's capability to have a highly trained, rapidly deployable unit on standby to respond to crisis or conflict if necessary. Well, to NATO, NATO at large, it demonstrates uh, interoperability across multiple nations, it demonstrates uh, standardization, and it really demonstrates the combat readiness of NATO's land forces. As a NATO LANDCOM commander, I focus every day on the combat readiness of NATO's land forces, and the beach ATF is the tip of the spear. This is about interoperability and combat readiness. And there's three types of interoperability. Human interoperability, where soldiers from different nations work together and they develop that human interoperability. Technical interoperability, like the ability to control attack aviation, to synchronize artillery, and then process and procedure interoperability, uh, where you learn to work together using different processes and procedures. So the soldiers and units leave here more interoperable, more combat ready, uh, and more capable of defending this great alliance.